The Prisoner was a groundbreaking British TV series, first appearing in 1967 and imported to CBS. The main character, played by Patrick McGowan, had just resigned as a secret agent when he was gassed and awoke in the mysterious village, where everyone has a number instead of a name. McGowan's character is assigned number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> His nemesis is the village administrator, number two. In one episode, virtually the entire village is forced to take part in a project called Speed Learn. It's described as a marriage of science and mass communication. Education was ready for a great leap forward from the Dark Ages into the 20th and 21st centuries. No more tedious learning by rote. Our aim? 100% entry, 100% pass. That description could have been taken out of a handbook for Common Core. The science of Common Core stems from the operant conditioning of psychologist B.F. Skinner. In layman's terms, Skinner's work was similar to the famous experiments with Pavlov's dogs. But let's get back to number six. In this scene, he has just told number two that he was no student of history. When was the Treaty of Adrianople? September 1829. What happened in 1830? Greek independence was assured and guaranteed. By whom? Russia, France, Britain. Notice the robotic response. Everyone who took Speed Learn answers in exactly the same way, just like the kids with their knee jerk reactions to the standardized assessment questions of Common Core. Now, number 12 asks number 6 to take it a step further. What was the Treaty of Adrianople? September 1829. Wrong. I said what, not when. Number six is unable to reason beyond the individual facts programmed into him. Sound familiar? David Coleman, one of the great popularizers of Common Core, is now working on the dumbing down of the SAT college entrance exams. Among other things, Coleman is dropping mandatory essay questions. After all, we can't expect a student to reason beyond their programmed facts. Number six was always trying to escape the village with its elaborate system of surveillance and control. But that's nothing compared to today's web of CIA monitoring. Perhaps number two has gotten his wish. The world has become the village. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Thank you.